In this tutorial, we will be going over how to create a new document, how to open a document, and how to save a document within the Quilt Manager software. The first thing that you will notice is that most of the system icons are grayed out. This is because these features are not available until a document is opened in Quilt Manager. You can create a new document or open an existing document to access these features. To create a new document, click the Create New Document icon located here. You will then be prompted to set a quilt size. You can set it manually or leave it at the default values. These increments are in pixels. Select OK to create a new document. You will now see that most of the icons are highlighted. They can now be selected and used. Let's take a look at the save feature. Notice that the save icon is still grayed out. It will remain gray until there is a mark in the quilt area. Once there is a mark in the quilt area, you will be able to save. Whenever you save, the patterns will be saved as a .qma file type. This is the file type that Quilt Manager reads and cannot be used as a pattern with your robotics. A pattern must be exported before it can be used with robotic systems. We will go over this feature in a later tutorial. The save feature is used for when you want to stop working and pick up your work later. In this bar, you can change the file name so that you can quickly find the pattern you are working on. You can select Save to save your progress or Cancel to continue without saving. The Open Quilt Manager file icon allows you to open the .qma files that you are currently working with. Once the file is open, you will be able to continue your work with the pattern. This has been a tutorial on how to create, open, and save documents within the Quilt Manager software.